not sure if one size fits all. It fits. <laughs> one size fits all. Um, Paula Henderson insists that I put on a pair of gloves, or at least one glove uh, this morning, because inside fit food fast, she wants me to do some mixing. Yes. Um, and it's preferably with your hand, you know? Yeah, yeah. You can't yes. do, there's some things your hands just yes. have to get in exactly. there. Exactly. And, and, get and it, mix. Well, and yeah. mix. What's this I'm seeing? Some sort of loaf you're doing this morning? Loaf, more like a protein bar, you know? Oh. Now that it's carnival, I see a lot of people going for all kind of look like healthy protein bars yeah. because we know that protein is something that gives us energy and it's really good, especially when you're watching your weight. Um, but protein the, bars has become very popular. It has been, become yeah, very popular, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But there's no need to go and actually go and buy any protein bars. You can actually do it at home and it's so easy, mm. you know. So this one that I have done, um, all you really need is some dates. And I use a little bit of peanut butter. I prefer if you get a peanut butter that just says peanut butter. Peanut, peanuts. The ingredients are just peanuts. What else? What other types it has? You mean like the crunchy and... and yeah, those, well, yeah. you could use that, but I mean, meaning no hydrogenated oils, no added sugars, oh, you know, just something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because if you have the dates, the dates are really sweet, sweet. enough, right? So the dates are the only sweetener that we are going to use in this protein bar, okay. right? Okay. So, so I have here just plain peanut butter, no added oil, no added sugar, no added salt, nothing. Okay. So what I did is I put a cup of the peanut butter with another cup of dates into my blender and blended it all up so it came into this mixture so i had put this in the fridge so right. this is why it looks like that so right it's basically the peanut butter yes dates. no just peanut butter dates and i just put a little touch of the coconut oil you don't have to um but it, the coconut oil is a really good fat, right. right? And you get this. And then you just get this, right? right? You can put it into the fridge and it just comes into this hearty, hearty texture, yes. you know? <laughs> <laughs> hearty Next? texture. Hearty texture, yes. Um, and then a lot of people are making their own granola, homemade granola. Yeah. But if you can't um, and you go into the grocery, there are a lot of different options Mixes. of granola mixes yeah, you know yeah, yeah. try to stay uh, away from those that have added sugars yeah. you know there are a lot of them that you know you can find that don't have any added sugars um, or if you make your own that's better no, that's yet a, yeah. and then what I did is just you just add the granola into this mixture and this is why you need your hand because you need to just mix it in really well Right. I also add a little bit, a, a, a little touch of sea salt to just, um, it goes nicely with it, you know, to, to bring down the sweetness. And there you go. You can start putting in your hand in there. I'm warming up. Yes. Yeah, it, 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 yes. Warm, it's, yeah. a good, it's a good um, exercise it for is. your hand. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to get everything yes. incorporated kind yes. of thing. Yes. How important is putting it in the, in the fridge to probably get very Yes. So very once important? it's mixed, um, combined equally um, if you feel like you need more granola you can put more granola you just get like a cling wrap and right. you mold it into like a log whatever shape you want whatever to shape it yeah, is if you yeah, want to yeah. do it into little balls or little right. squares anything like that and then when it becomes hard like this you just give it a cut and it cuts nicely into this and look at this how beautifully and it's stiff and this is some a snack that you can take to go you can have it as a pre-workout or post-workout. Um, you can have, and this will last for a long time. So just know, this did not bake, Paolo? No, no bake. You just no put it bake. into the fridge. Yeah, so you can just cut yourself a, a little slice and you're good to go. So how easy is this? Rather than like you going to buy a bar that's already made and you do not know what really is in it. This is really good. It's really good. Peanut butter or dates? If we don't have dates. Yes. Um, well, I like, I like the dates because the dates kind of make it, mold it, mm. you know? Reasons. Um, but if you don't have dates, you, I guess you can substitute it with um, honey and add a little bit more of the coconut oil. Because the coconut oil, you know, when it, it, it is in a cold temperature, it mm. kind of hardens up. So this is what helps the um, bar 
stay stay together. And there are some granolas, I mean, uh, that are very sweet as well. Lot, yes, exactly. So this really mm -hmm. has no added sugar mm -hmm. besides the date. Mm -hmm. So I recommend stick to the dates or if you don't want to do dates, you could do the honey. Um, but make this for yourself. It's just super easy and really nutritious. And this is something that I actually give to, as a snack to, want, to my cleansers. You know, I have a cleanse program where people come in and I feed them mm -hmm. and they actually lose weight on just snacking on a granola bar like this. Healthy snacks. Healthy snacks. Guys, check it out. Uh, up at Henderson's Kitchen, uh, you're on, on Instagram, on yes, social media, you're yeah. Henderson's Kitchen. Henderson's Kitchen. Yeah, she, so it's some wonderful food up there, but they also, as I said, Paula caters to wonderful meals that you can have and just drop the pounds by just sticking to the meals that she gives you. Yes. She's promising me that we're going to take a week or yes. she's going to put me on it. In February. She's oh. promising me. She's oh. promising me. Yeah? <laughs> yes. I'm ready for you. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paolo, thank you very much. Guys, uh, try this one. This is a real simple one. Uh, PaolaHenderson.com. We put a link on our website, trainingcooks.com. And you can try this one. Very, very simple one. Tips, tricks, uh, so that you can stay lean, mean, and green in 2019. I just came up with that, Paolo. <laughs> and this time there's no green. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming back. We're coming back, uh, folks. Stay with us. <laughs>